Thank you so much for spending your time with us today on Inside South Florida. You know, counterfeit goods are a problem all year long, but demand for gifts, household products, virtual learning items, even health products mean that the holiday season is an especially busy time for the crooks. So how can you be sure that the items you're buying are genuine and not fake? Executive Assistant Commissioner for the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, Anne Marie Highsmith, shared some valuable tips to help you not become a victim this holiday season. Anne Marie, the problem of counterfeit goods, how big of a problem is it? Well, the problem of counterfeit goods in the United States is actually a huge problem, Jason. It uh, not only does it undermine America's innovation economy, but it takes money out of the coffers of law abiding U.S. businesses and potentially puts unsafe and substandard merchandise on our shelves in our local stores and in our own homes. I will note that in between uh, October 1st of 2020 and July of this year, CBP seized 22,849 shipments of counterfeit merchandise worth an estimated $2.5 billion. What does the role the pandemic play in counterfeit goods and distribution and how they're affecting people? Yeah, indeed. Well, it, it's no secret that that the volumes of merchandise being imported and sent through online marketplaces was increasing even before the COVID pandemic. But the pandemic, in fact, has uh, only increased that and exacerbated the problem as people attempt to obtain the goods that they need during these times while abiding by social distancing and the CDC's mandates. Yeah, you mentioned that from so, since the last year, there has been an unprecedented amount of counterfeit goods that are floating around out there in, in, in um, communities and abroad. What are businesses and law enforcement doing to fight the fakes? Businesses and law enforcement are partnering in order to get the word out, to educate consumers and to improve our enforcement efforts in that area. CBP and the United States Chamber of Commerce have entered into a first of its kind agreement to encourage those activities to educate the public and to inform our consumers. And uh, if you, um, you can find more information about that program and actually tips for shoppers on the U.S. Chamber's Shop Smart website. With that said, Amory, what should shoppers do? You mentioned tips. What should we do if we think a good that we've purchased or acquired is, in fact, counterfeit? I, I think <laughs> I shop a lot, and there are times when I'm a little questionable about, is this the real deal? Indeed. You know, the first, the first line of defense is a good offense, and that's to be an educated consumer. Make sure that you're shopping at reputable retailers and in reputable websites. You know, if you're, if you're on a website that doesn't have good contact information for that uh, company, that should be a red flag. If you are on a website where the, um, where the seller is only a seller and doesn't also produce its merchandise, that should be a flag for you to, to look more carefully. But if you get duped, there are a number of actions that you can take. The first is to report the violation, report the counterfeit merchandise to CBP. You can report that um, through two portals, through the cbp.gov e-allegations portal online. You can call CBP and make that report at 1-800-BE-ALERT, or you can follow up with the U.S. Chamber.